Hey there, in this video we're going to look at inspiration. So when you are starting your project, you're going to need places to go and get ideas for your projects. Now this site here, informationisbeautiful.net, remember the .net, the .com is a weird site. Okay, you'll go and check it now, right? I betcha. But um, informationisbeautiful.net is... This is more the data visualization side, okay? There's some really beautiful stuff going on here and kind of pushing the boundaries of how to communicate really complex data. If you're dealing with more with the generic kind of infographic, okay, bar charts, and you're just looking for ideas of animation, then something like this. So this is videohive.net, okay? Videohive.net sell these, okay? So these here you can buy. So this one here's $19 and you can get this as an After Effects file and start updating it then the trouble with some of these templates is that they're pretty complex if you're brand new these are not useful at all because you're going to get a file that's going to be too hard to work with once you get into the kind of intermediate level stage these become really useful because you can open them up make the changes necessary and yeah save yourself a lot of time okay so you hover above them some of them are pretty cheese but some of them are pretty cool as well okay so you can just work your way through them and just kind of get an idea of like how you might do it Anyway, okay, so kind of one of the competitors for Video Hive is Pond5. Okay, same sort of thing. Hover above them, you'll see infographics, interesting kind of text treatments. Okay, lots in here just to get your kind of ideas flowing. One of the last places I'll show you is Art of the Title. While not infographics, it's really cool for just beautiful uses of mainly type, okay, and live action footage, but you can, I, can, I get great ideas from here, okay, for even just simple motion graphics just the way type is being treated and animated so i like to go to this is the home page if you go down to like uh, all features and then you end up looking at these and this is the top 10 from 2016 and you just go through i've got a couple of them primed and ready to go in here somewhere like this one here just interesting you know how you're going to deal with the type there's a kind of big thing moving in the background kind of flickery all the stuff that can be done in after effects i'm not saying they're exactly right but was any other ones that i liked i'm not sure i'm stopping here this is quite cool, just real big slabby use of color and type. Anyway, I'm rambling. So those are some good places to go and get some ideas before you get started on your next project. All right, let's get into the videos.